How you doing guys? Logic here with another weapon guide video on Ninjala. Today we're going to be talking about the scroll blade. I personally took this weapon for granted, but it's actually really fun and very unique. Its fighting style is very similar to the original Epon Katana, but with just a little spice. All right, let's talk about the battle kit for the scroll blade. Most of these are very similar to the Epon Katana, so remember that. Gumshot, Gum Kunai, multiple kunai home in on your opponent. Gum Ninjutsu, Piercing Mixer, launch a gum bean that penetrates terrain. Special, Charging Slash, charge at your opponent with a quick attack. Abilities, Chakra, defeating an opponent fully resets special cooldown. Kamikaze, move faster when you defeat a foe with a special while using a big weapon. Parameters adjusted being 300 HP and 100 movement speed. Speed making this kit pretty balanced when stacking against the others, not sacrificing HP for speed and vice versa. So pretty good, pretty good uh, numbers. Okay, so now that we have that out the way, let's get into the basics. You know how it is. You should try to engage your opponent with a back attack. That's when you move the controller analog to the left or to the right side while also pressing ZR. You should teleport behind or in front of your opponent. This move is great for throwing off your foe. And let's get into the combos of the scroll blade. You don't really have to get like fancy or anything with it. Just go for a basic ZR string and in some form or fashion incorporate your special move. We'll get into that a little bit later. Let's talk about our wide attacks. We have three. How we do a wide attack is by holding the left analog back while pressing ZR. We have three different types of wide attacks with the scroll blade. So let's talk about those. We have back ZR, 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 back ZR, 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 back ZR. I know that's a, that's a lot of ZRs, but pretty much that's how we do them all. And I'll even put a little listing right there to make it easier. These moves are best used to get surrounding ninjas away from you while you might be getting a drone. There might be a couple of ninjas trying to double team you and you might want to just get them all off you. And if you do a back attack, you might be able to get more than one just off you or give you just that amount of time to get away. They can be really useful. Also, this is our break attack. It's nothing fancy. You use it by pressing the R shoulder button on the controller. It's really useful for when people like to S burst in the middle of a string, hit them with it, boom. Then you pretty much just get a free e punt. Now that we are acquainted with our normal moves, let's talk about our special, Charging Slash. Charge at your opponent with a quick attack. As I said before, you should get used to always using your special move, Charging Slash, in a combo so we can utilize our special ability. Chakra, defeating a foe fully resets special cooldown. Pretty much, if you use Charging Slash to defeat an opponent, you'll instantly get it back. Charging Slash has multiple uses, not just attacking, but getting away from fights as well. It can serve as a useful tool. You should also remember that Charging Slash has armor, so don't be afraid to just get in there. Our next ability is Kamikaze, but this only activates if we have a big weapon, so keep that in mind. Kamikaze, move faster when you defeat a foe with a special. So when we get our big weapon, we should make it a habit to finish the foe off with a Charging Slash instead of just a regular attack. Keep in mind that moving faster in Ninjala is a huge advantage. The faster you can move, the faster you can get drones, the faster you can get to another foe, the faster you can just be able to collect things and help your teammates. It's huge. Up next is our gum shot, gum kunai. Multiple kunai home in on your opponent. I was personally sleeping on this gum shot for a while, but when I actually got down to using it myself, it was so fun and creative and life saving. In every engagement, you should be using your gum kunai, if you have the means, of course. The kunais are a little slow to come out and actually attack, but they can be used as an advantage. Your opponent really only has two options, run away and not get hit, or block it with their gum bubble. While they are trying to do this, you should pressure their bubble and hit them with a break attack. It works beautifully. Lastly is our gum ninjutsu, piercing mixer. Launch a gum bean that penetrates terrain. This super has its ups and downs. I like it because sometimes it works really well, especially for getting drones, but other times you just get caught up before you can actually fully use it. The startup time on it is way too long and the recovery is long, so make sure you just don't throw it out and watch your surroundings. Just a little bit of closing thoughts on the scroll blade. 
I think it shares a lot of similarities between the Ipan Katana, but they still offer a different play style. The Gum Kunai is really the standout in this battle kit. I'm indifferent to Piercing Mixer, it's more of a love-hate relationship, but it has its moments, like I said. All in all, it's a very fun weapon, very unique, and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. You won't go wrong picking this weapon. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope I was able to explain everything in an orderly manner. If you liked the video, give it a like. It's really appreciated. If I said anything that's wrong, just let me know too as well. I like to, you know, correct myself for next time. That way I don't do things wrong again. But anyway, I'm just rambling. This has been Logic, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Take it easy.